Okay, we explained and described all about uh, RAS mapper and HECRAS for extraction of uh, river geometry using remotely sensed them. Uh, in this part, uh, I want to share with you my knowledge about and my findings about the, usable, the usability and the potential of re remote sensing for flood inundation mapping in data sparse regions or data limited areas. Okay, let me to share. Uh, you know, uh, in a case study, we investigated the uh, usability of remotely sensed stems for field inundation mapping and found that uh, allo stem is the best one for flood inundation mapping. Okay, let me check the final results. I think the output, uh, the output of this uh, results this paper uh, helps you to find better uh, dam sources for your case studies. Okay, uh, in this uh, paper or in this study, we use different dam sources. For example, GDM, which is created in uh, based on topographic maps, ground topographic maps. Uh, the, the the next ones based on ALOS, SRTM 30 meter, Aster 30 meter, and SRTM 90 meters. And the details of these data sets is presented in this table. And I don't want to explain that. Okay, uh, we use uh, these DEMs uh, for extraction of uh, river geometry, I mean, cross-sectional shape. Uh, the black color is based on ground topographic maps. The red color is based on aster centimeter, and the blue and green color and the orange color is based on SRTM 90 meter, SRTM 30 meter, and allos. As you can see in the uh, section one, the uh, aster is tends to underestimate the elevation of uh, cross sections. Moreover, SRTM, both SRTM 90 and 30 meters tend to overestimate, while ALOS uh, almost is perform good uh, as well as uh, surveyed cross section. You know, uh, we investigated, we compared in different cross section and you can see in all cross sections Acer tends to underestimate the elevation and SRTM tends to overestimate while allows performed as well as ground topographic maps. You know, that's completely fantastic and uh, shows the potential of ALO stem for using in flood inundation and hydraulic simulation. At the next step, we use uh, these processes for different river and the co uh, comparison completely show the superiority of all of them for uh, extraction of river geometry. Okay, these are the statistical variation of all them. Okay. Uh, in this uh, figure, uh, you can see the effect of using them sources on the average percentage error of simulated flood components. Uh, you know, uh, in simulation of water surface elevation, allows uh, with the mean difference lower than 2% is the best one uh, for simulation of water surface elevation. It means that when you don't have enough uh, or high resolution data sets or grand topographic maps, you can use all of them for simulation of water surface elevation with the minimum errors or with the minimum difference. While using Aster DM lead to higher uh, error in simulation of water surface elevation and uh, flood extent. You can see uh, Aster averagely lead to 
lower than 90% error in simulation of uh, flood uh, widths and flood extents, while aster, uh, using aster lead to higher errors in flood extents. And this is for Sojas and this is for Sarbaz rivers. Okay, in this figure, the spectral distribution of flood extents uh, is shown, and you can see the allos is completely uh, agreement with ground topographic maps outputs, while using ASTER, SRTM, and uh, SRTM 30 meter and SRTM 90 meter. Uh, does not lead accurately or uh, satisfy outputs. This is for Sarbaz River and this is for Sojas River. You can see uh, Sojas is a smaller river and Sarbaz is a uh, wide width river. But uh, you know, <clears throat> you can see Alos uh, performs relatively better than other data source and other data source does not simulate continuous and uh, logical flood extent. And this is some statistical parameters. And in this figure, you can see the comparison between flood extent based on ground topographic dam or based on ALOS. You know, uh, uh, as I mentioned, ALOS performs well. And you can see the flood extends in different cross sections completely fall into 10% bound width. While for Aster, you can see uh, the model tends to underestimate the flood extents. Moreover, SRTM 30 meter and 90 meter perform lower than uh, ALOS. Also for Sojas uh, River, SRTM and Aster 30 meter perform worse and uh, the result uh, an unsatisfied output while allows performs better uh, for a smaller a small river. However, there are a little bit uh, more uh, errors in flood extent, but it's completely obvious because when you are using and remotely sense them for a smaller rivers, you, you shouldn't uh, expect uh, high accuracy results because uh, this result, I think, completely okay. And you shouldn't uh, expect uh, higher performance in a small uh, rivers. Okay, I think uh, this uh, explanation and these descriptions will help you to select better data source for your case study. And uh, I, I hope you learn all about uh, river extraction and download uh, and download processing of uh, download them uh, for your case study and extracting river geometry and justice. Uh, I, I hope uh, you have a good time, uh, happy hydraulic modeling, bye-bye to the next sections and parts.